Hey, Jason, Kyle just talked about having Richard Sherman back at practice, uh, and I just want to know, what it, what's it like having him back on the field, just being able to pick his brain? Uh, it's, I think it's another good voice to have, uh, veteran presence, uh, another guy that's been around for the league a long time, um, and uh, he's definitely helped with uh, throughout the practice this week is just helping us alert the things that the New Orleans Saints would do. So uh, I think it's been beneficial for everybody. Jason, Brandon was in there just talking about how Sherman, when he plays against him in practice, will give him some advice. Do you do that for the wide receivers as well, kind of coach them up while they're out there with them? You said what now? So do you, uh, do you go out and help the wide receivers, coach them up a little bit, give them tips while you're out there at practice? Oh, yeah. Um, Sherm, uh, uh, I think is that's what she's asking. Um yeah, he's been definitely helpful for uh, a lot of the guys out there. I think after that play um, and one-on-ones um, that Sherm had against Brandon was just giving him tips with working on his releases and trying to just give different looks. That way he's not giving the same look each and every time that he does a, uh, certain routes. Jason, you guys are going against a tough schedule of receivers just in recent weeks here with DK Metcalf, Lockett, Devontae Adams, and now you're going to get Emmanuel Sanders, Michael Thomas, as a competitor, is that what you want to be challenged against the best to, so it brings the best out of you? Or how yeah. do you feel about facing the top receiver? Yeah, absolutely. I mean, my times that I had with the Chargers, I always was the guy that followed the number one receivers. And um, I'm always looking forward for a challenge. You know, this week is going to definitely be a good challenge for me and Emmanuel with uh, going against Emmanuel Sanders, Michael Thomas. Uh, uh, they had a few other receivers, too, that that, that – that's been uh, contributing and playing well. But, yeah, I look forward for the, the best guys each and, every, each and every week. Jason, I apologize for asking you this because uh, we've asked you it from, from time to time this season. But um, it, it seems like it's been a process for you. And, and just wondering where you are in, in, your, in your comeback, whether you think you're 100% or um, you had mentioned press coverage was going to be the, the last element to come back. Mm -hmm. Is that – in your mind, is that fully back at this point? Yeah, I'm definitely feel that I'm back where I want to be. Um, I just still think each and every week I can always elevate, get better at something. Um, you know, as you watch film and see how teams attack you, uh, you try to look to avoid those things going into that next week. So each and every week I just try to find things that I've shown on film that might be a target and try to fix those in the following game. Jason, obviously the Saints were rolling uh, pretty good last week as an offense against the Buccaneers. I mean, just from a cornerback perspective, what what kind of challenges do they present a defense that are, are unique to them? I'll say their tempo. Um, as you can see, you know, with getting Michael Thomas back and Emmanuel Sanders, all those all the weapons back um, uh, back in that last game against the Bucks, you can see how explosive that offense could be, the tempo, uh, the way that Breeze is getting the ball in and out of his hands quickly. Um, so I think that's just going to be the challenge for us is try to keep everything in front of us and, uh, you know, allow them to, you know, have long drives, but just try to hold them to field goals. Jason, as a free agent after the season, obviously you guys focus one day at a time and, and one week at a time and all that, but but how difficult is it not to think about the future and how do you go about uh, go about making sure you're in the right mental mental uh, headspace? Um, well, I, I just know that, you know, once you take care of things throughout the season, um, after the season, you know, you worry about those things. Right now we got six games left or seven games left in the season to try to get us into the playoffs and, you know, that's that's mainly my focus right now is just helping the team, you know, get to where we want to be. Just kind of following up on Sherman and Ayuk, what have you seen from him and his development as a rookie wide receiver? I would say the main thing that stands out with him is that um, he ain't he isn't scared. Like he's not scared, of, you know, for the challenges. He's not scared to learn. Um, each and every week you can see that he's always striving to be that guy. So I think that's a trait that I like about Ayuk is that, you know, he's he's definitely trying to strive to be the number one guy. Awesome. Thanks, JV. Appreciate it. Ooh. Make sure you subscribe, faithful. <laughs>